During the month of October only, to celebrate the Halloween season, I'm offering my readings at a discounted price. Readings start from £7 for an email reading, and I'm also offering a discount on my audio and video readings as well. To book a private reading, email me at tarakite at hotmail.com. Happy Halloween! Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and thanks for tuning in. This week's tarot reading is for October the 3rd to October the 9th. And before I get started here, I just wanted to mention that I did a new moon tarot reading on Google Plus and Tumblr for the signs. So check that out if you haven't done so already. Alright, and also before I pull the cards, I saw an image of a panda bear. And the panda bear is a symbol for harmony, balance, um, and also, you know, embracing all aspects of ourselves. You know, we all have masculine and feminine energy. Um, and also, the panda bear is a symbol of having, you know, a gentle strength. All right. And for the main focus, we got the Page of Wands. And I also pulled a card from the Wisdom of the House of Night deck by PC Cass and Colette Baron Reed. And we got the Warrior card here. All right, and before I pull the Page of Wands card, Spirit told me that it's important for us not to, you know, shy away from opportunities that are going to be headed our way. You know, you're ready for this. You know, I just feel like it's time for us to, you know, take action and to move forward and to, you know, not be afraid to move forward. And, you know, and with this Page of Wands card, you know, the Page, page of Wands does represent, you know, getting, you know, some sort of opportunity, you know, some sort of news being, you know, headed our way, you know. So maybe you hear about, you know, you get some news that there's this, you know, new opportunity. And, you know, and I feel like it's so important for you to really, you know, take that opportunity, you know, walk through that door. It's just, I just feel like it's so important for you to, you know, go for things this month. Um, and also... This card can represent, you know, getting some sort of validation, you know. It's like, you know, getting some sort of compliment or just getting some sort of feeling that you're on the right path. I feel like this new opportunity is going to be presented to you, and it is going to feel right. And I feel like it's so important for you to just go for it, you know. Don't feel like you're not ready, you know. Don't, don't be afraid to take this opportunity, you know. Don't be afraid to take a chance. I feel like this week it is so important for us to just you know, take a chance, you know, and I feel like it is important to just be open to the possibilities and to, you know, maybe do something on the spur of the moment, you know, maybe visit that town you've always wanted to visit or, you know, I just feel like it's so important for us to, you know, do things that we want to do and to just, you know, go for things and be, you know, and be spontaneous, <laughs> you know, this is a good week to just, you know, go with the flow and be spontaneous as well, all right. And with this warrior card, you know, I just feel like there is, like, a lot of protection around us. So don't be afraid to move forward. You know, y your spirit guides are with you. You know, there's a lot of support around you, okay? Um, and also with this warrior card, it's like with the panda bear. I feel like there is this, like, strength, you know, headed our way. Like, I feel like we're going to be feeling more strong. Like, Spirit is really trying to help us feel more strong. So if you feel like you need to feel more strong to, you know, move forward, you know, ask Spirit to help you. Or, or you know, ask the panda bear to help you. You know, the panda bear is coming in as a spirit guide to really help us have that, you know, that gentle strength, all right? Um, and I just feel like there is this, like, grounded energy coming from this warrior card as well. Just this grounded, you know, strength. It's like... It's like we're realizing that our power truly does lie in the present moment. Um, you know, it's so important to be in the here and the now because that's when we can actually, you know, take action and do something. And I, once again, I just feel like it's so important for us to just take advantage of the moment, you know, the time that we have now, whatever opportunity is being presented to us. And now it's so important for us to take advantage of that. And, and once again, I just feel like there's, like, a lot of spon spontaneous 
energy this month. I just feel like it's so important for us to just, you know, go out there and have fun, too, and be spontaneous and to, you know, do things on the spur of the moment. You know, if you feel like, you know, checking out that new cafe or doing, you know, taking that new class, you know, go ahead and do that, you know. I just feel like it's important for us to, yeah, just be be active and to go out and about and to just, you know, listen to our intuition and to really act upon what our feelings are. You know, if you feel like this is a good opportunity, you know, take it. You know, just take advantage of the time and the moment and what's going on now. All right. And for the beginning of the month, I mean, not month, the week, sorry, <laughs> the week we got the four of wands, and for the middle of the week we got the magician, and for the end of the week we got the nine of pentacles here. All right, let's talk about the four of wands first here. Before I pulled this card... I saw an image of chocolate, and so I feel like this beginning of the week, there is this element of us just wanting to, like I said, just enjoy the moment. It's like savoring that nice hot chocolate, you know, that nice piece of chocolate, or it just feels like there's this, like, us wanting to, you know, enjoy life's little luxuries, you know, the comforts of home, or just, you, you know what I mean? It's like enjoying that nice drink of cider, or you know, hot chocolate, or, and, and it does feel very like, it's like we're wanting to enjoy the season of fall as well, you know, I really like chai tea, um, and I really love to drink it during the fall, so, yeah, that's like a good little tradition I have, it just seems like, yeah, you know, wanting to enjoy that warm, you know, drink, um, but yeah, just, it just seems like wanting, us wanting to enjoy the moment and, you know, life's little luxuries. All right. And also with this card, you know, this card represents, you know, some sort of completion. And also teamwork as well. And the energy, it's like, it's like baking a cake, for example. This energy is like baking a cake. It's like you had all the right ingredients. You took all the right steps. And now you've got an end result, the cake has been baked and it's finished, you know. I just feel like you've had to do a lot of work, take a lot of steps, and now there's this sense of completion. You know, there's just a sense of graduation this beginning of the month, I mean the week. And yeah, and I just feel like, you know, we're raising our vibration, you know. There's just this, this sense of enlightenment, you know. I just feel like we have all have come a long way. Um... You know, we have learned a lot. You know, there's something for us all to be proud of. Um, and, you know, literally, some of you may be graduating or, you know, maybe you're getting some sort of job promotion. It's just like we're taking something to the next level here. Um, or maybe even you're taking a relationship to the next level. You know, maybe some of you decide you want to get married or... You just want to make things, you know, maybe you've been dating somebody for a while and you guys want to make things more official. Um, um, but yeah, and this can also indicate some sort of family get-together as well, um, or, you know, or getting together with friends, or this could represent a marriage. But yeah, just some sort of sense of completion and also teamwork as well. You know, maybe for some of you... You've been working in a group to get something done. But, yeah, once again, you know, we all have something to be proud of. There is a sense of completion this beginning of the week. You know, we, we're we ready. Basically, you know, Spirit wants us to know, is, you know, we're ready for the next step, the next level. You know, we're ready for a new challenge. I just feel like we have learned all that we could have possibly learn from something, and now it's time for us to move on, move forward, and we're ready. I just feel like there's the sense of, you know, being excited, wanting to move forward, but also this, like, hesitant energy as well, um, but Spirit really wants you to know this week is that you're ready, and don't shy away from opportunities, you know, if somebody offers you an opportunity to do something, I just feel like it's so important not to turn it down, you know, move forward, you're ready, all right? And for the middle of the week, we got the Magician card. So know that you have all the tools you need 
You have all the tools you need to move forward. You have what it takes. Um, I also feel like this middle of the month, there's a sense of... It's like things are coming to a stop a little bit. It's like we're excited to move forward, but it's like... There's a little bit of a challenge to move forward here. Um, but, you know, I feel like we are going to move forward from that. And Spirit wants you to know, you know, don't let this little roadblock get in the way and stop you. You know, you are the magician. <laughs> you know, you can make things happen. I just feel like it's a matter of needing to study something a little bit more or to ask questions. Um, you know, just to do a little bit more research. Or, you know, maybe you just need to ask somebody somebody that you feel like has a lot of knowledge about some something, okay? You know, um, for example, I'm just using this as an example about this energy. Um, you know, let's say, you know, you just graduated high school here. Um, and now you want to go to college. Um, but it's like you have all this paperwork or... You know, maybe you need to figure out your finances before you can go to college. Um, but I feel like it's just a matter of asking around, you know, doing some research, you know, seeing if you can get a scholarship. It's just a matter of talking to people. You know what I mean? This is just an, an example. You know, this might not be school, but, you know, this could even be like a business. You know, let's say, you know, you've worked in retail or something for a long time and you have a lot of experience with working with people in retail and now you want to open your own business. But it's like you got all this paperwork and all this stuff that you got to do before you can open your business. Um, but what the magician is trying to help us see is that we have what it takes to move forward. We, you can do this. And I feel like it's so important for you to, you know, just take things one step at a time. You know, step by step, you know, you'll accomplish it. And just know that, you know, you will get through this roadblock, this challenge, whatever this is. Um, and the examples I use are just examples. This might be different, you know, different um, for each of you out there. Um, but anyways, just in general, just know that whatever roadblock you are facing, you can get through it. All right. And for the end of the week, you got the night. We got the Knight of Pentacles here. And the Nine of Pentacles is all about, you know, it's moving forward. It might feel like you're moving forward at a slow pace, but you are moving forward. Um, and it's also, you know, represents somebody who does a good job with things. You know, they're not going to cut any corners. They're not, they want to do a good job. You know, they want something to look nice, to be its best. And I feel like that is important for us to remember this end of the week. You know, you don't feel... You know, once again, I do feel like it's important to take opportunities, but, you know, if this is a creative project or, you know, even, you know, starting your own business or whatever, you know, take your time with it, you know, you know, make sure everything's done right. That's all I'm saying. Um, and I also feel like, you know, you might be getting some sort of news this end of the week as well. And this might be good news about finances, you know, um... Or, you know, this could just, I just feel like this is good news. It's going to, it's going to be like, yeah, I've got the green light now to move forward. It just seems like we're feeling like we have the resources or, you know, what we need now. It's like the roadblock has been cleared now. Now we can move forward, if that makes any sense. All right. And, you know, the Knight of Pentacles can represent, it's like doing, it's like taking steps um, to do, you know, it's like we're doing things that are good, that are going to help us with our finances in the long run, okay, or just, you know, feeling more abundant, um, all right, and I also feel like this week, some of you may be, um, there might be connections to, like, past lives, because, like, I heard this song by Sleeping Beauty, like, I know you, I've walked with you once upon a dream you know that song from sleeping beauty um and so you know some of you you know you may be meeting people from a past life or maybe visiting somewhere from a past life or you know picking up some sort of talent or doing something again from a past life it just feels like there is this familiar feeling this week um about something this might yeah this might be a new hobby that you've decided to take or going to a, a certain place or 
you know, meeting somebody. Um, it just seems like there's this element of something being familiar. Um, and also, you know, with Sleeping Beauty, there could be this, like, awakening moment, too. Like, it's like you instantly get it about something. Um, yeah. All right. Well, have a wonderful week, everybody. Much love and many blessings to you all. And thanks so much for watching, subscribing, sharing my videos, Google Plusing, and all your likes and shares on Tumblr as well. All right, now I'm going to pull a card for the signs. Hi, water signs. You got the chariot, and you also got this rigid card. All right, and before I pulled your card, Spirit told me that you're really gifted. You know, you are really good at doing something, and I feel like it's so important for you to move forward here. You know, you have enough experience, enough knowledge, you know, you have what it takes. And I feel like you're doing exactly that. You know, you're moving forward. You know, with this chariot card, you know, this card is all about, you know, moving forward. Um, and I feel like, you know, there's this sense of bravery as well. I just feel like you're gaining more courage and you're just wanting to move forward. Um, and I also feel like, you know, with these two Sphinx here, you know, I feel like you're... You know, this is like yin and yang here, you know, I just feel like you're embracing all aspects of yourself, you know, it's like you're embracing the masculine and the feminine side of yourself. Um, it just seems like there is a sense of harmony this week for you. Um, and with this rigid card, spirit really wants you to, you know, be flexible this week. Um... You know, I just feel like it's important for you to, you know, to be flexible and to, to be spontaneous and to, you know, take chances. Um, and also realize that, you know, our, you know, our dreams don't have to play out in a certain way. You know what I mean? Sometimes we get, and I'm guilty of this as well, you know, sometimes we, you know, we think that our dreams have to be a certain way, like certain things have to happen, but... I just feel like it's important for you not to do that, to just be open to, you know, what comes your way. You know, I feel like, you know, spirit is going to be giving you some, you know, some really good opportunities and your dreams are going to be fulfilled. Um, it may not be, you know, exactly how you pictured it, but it's still what you wanted, if that makes any sense. Um, just be open to the possibilities. And, you know, I always find that spirit always gives me something better than what I even thought for for myself. So, you know, I just feel like it's so important for you not to limit yourself this week. Um, yeah, and just be flexible. And also, I feel like it's so important for you. You know, he's got that armor on. It's kind of like he's guarded. I feel like it's important for you to just allow yourself to be vulnerable I think I said that word right. Vernable. You know, like, let your guard down. You know, don't... I just feel like, yeah, I just feel like it's so important for us to... You know, don't feel like you have to be so guarded around people. I just feel like it's important for you to, you know, open up and, and, and let your ideas, you know, just share. I just feel like it's so important for you to share your thoughts. You know, share your ideas. You know, share more about yourself, um, you know, I just feel like it's important for you to be open to, you know, social opportunities as well, and to really, you know, allow yourself to really get to know people and, and everything, you know, I just feel like it's important right now for you, you know, connections are important for you as well right now, um, so yeah, don't be afraid to, you know, put yourself out there, okay, um, you know, don't be afraid, you know, and it doesn't matter what people think about us, you know, it doesn't matter about the good or the negative reviews that, you know, we're going to get from people, you know what I mean, it doesn't, both, positive and negative, it doesn't matter, all that matters is what you think of yourself and that, you know, you're proud of what you're doing, that's all that matters, you know, you're independent from any negative or positive thing anybody has to say about you, okay, um, 
so yeah, just you know, I just feel like this is so important for you to just move forward and be open to the possibilities, and, and don't be afraid to do things on the spur of the moment. You know, things don't have to be exactly, you know, mapped out. You know, take that road trip. It doesn't have to be mapped out. Just go ahead and go on it, you know. You don't have to have an action plan. Just go for it. <laughs> All right, we'll have a wonderful week, Water Signs. Hi, Earth Signs. You've got the Seven of Cups and this Denial card here. All right, and before I pulled your cards, I just got this feeling of like mystery, like this sense of, you know, there's some sort of mystery this week and I feel like you're trying to discover the truth. It's like you're trying to solve something. You know, you're trying to uncover the truth this week. Um, and with the Seven of Cups, you know, I feel like it is important for you to brainstorm, you know, to really look at all of your options here. Um, you know, I, I feel like it is important for you to move forward this week. Um, but at the same time, I feel like it's important for you to really look at all of your options. I just feel like there's something more to something than meets the eye. You know, this is like peeling an onion. There's so many layers to it. And I feel like, you know, something may not seem like it's a good opportunity or a good option, um, but it really is. And... And the other way around, something else may seem like the better option or, or the better opportunity, but it's really not the opportunity you're supposed to take. It's really something else. You know, it's like, you know, you think, oh, this is, you know, this is what I got to have. This is what I got to do. But it's really that. That's really the opportunity that y you should be taking. You know, um, you know, sometimes we, and I'm guilty of this as well, you know, we think that our dreams have to play out in a certain way, like certain things got to happen, um, but this week I feel like it's so important for you not to do that, not to limit yourself, not to, you know, think that, you know, things have to work out a certain way, um, because I feel like spirit is bringing you opportunities this week, you know, they're bringing you opportunities to fulfill your dream, but it may not be in the way that you, you know, thought it was going to play out, or, you know, this opportunity might not be exactly what you expected, but it really is, you know, fulfilling your dreams. It is getting you where you need to go. Um, you know, and I always find that spirit brings me things better than what I have even thought for myself. And so... I just feel like it's important for you to keep an open mind. You know, spirit knows what you need. You know, spirit knows your heart. You know, they know, spirit knows what's really going to make you happy. And so, I feel like it's so important for you not to limit the, you know, the possibilities, the options. You know, keep brainstorming. You know, keep looking at all of your options. And, and also, you know, yeah, don't feel like your dream has got to play out in a certain way because I feel like, Spirit is bringing you better opportunities and better options. So yes, move forward this week, but really be open at the same time and really look at all of your options as well before moving forward as well. Um, but yeah, once again, it is good time for you to move forward, but I guess what I'm trying to say is it's like what I was saying, I just, I just feel like you feel like things have got to work out in a certain way, but I feel like it's so important for you to take, um, to take an opportunity, and this opportunity may feel like this wasn't what you wanted, but it really is. I know this sounds complicated, but I just feel like something good is going to be presented to you, but maybe at first glance or first thought, you don't think so, but it really is, okay? with this denial card, it's, this is, you know, exactly what, you know, I'm saying. It's like, maybe you thought, this is what's going to, this is, you know, I've got to get this job, you know. This has got to happen. You know, this is in my reach, and this has got to happen. I feel like you're really pushing for that, but that's really not, that's really not, you know, meant to be. That's not really your path. It's really this. This is really better 
for you. This is really what's going to bring you success, really what you want. All right? Well, have a wonderful week, Earth Signs. Hi, Air Signs. You got the Ace of Pentacles and also this High Priestess of Air card. All right. And before I pulled your cards, I just felt like there was this, like, free, like, energy, like, feeling more free. Um, and I saw a hawk, you know, fly in the sky, and so I just feel like you're gaining this new perspective, and I just feel like, you know, you're feeling more free, and you're, I just feel like you're not limiting yourself, and you're just open to the possibilities, and you're just wanting to be yourself, and you're just wanting to be you. I just feel like there's this element of you feeling more free, um... And I also saw an image of somebody handing somebody a rose. And so I feel like, you know, good things are going to be offered to you this week. You know, this might be, you know, a new job opportunity or, you know, this could even be a gift. And, you know, and you got the Ace of Pentacles here. And this card does represent, you know, gifts from the universe, you know, something, you know, it's like that hand being held out, you know, you're being offered some, you know, really good opportunities at this time, and I feel like it's so important for you to, you know, accept it, you know, take that coin, <laughs> you know, take it, um, and I feel like you are doing some good things that are going to help you with your finances, you know, down the road, you know, in the long run as well. Um, and with the High Priestess of Air, you know, I feel like it's so important for you to, you know, communication is important, you know, networking, you know, getting your ideas out there. Um, you know, the air element is very much around you. It's like, you know, flying, like the hawk flying in the sky, you know, it's like... This is just expansive energy. It's like you're expanding your mind. Like you're learning a lot this week. Um, you know, just a lot of wisdom is head your way as well. And, you know, you may hear of news about something. You know, and this may be, you know, hearing about news about a new opportunity here. Um, you know, it just seems like a lot of offers are, are headed your way. Maybe this is like an offer, you know, somebody wants to publish your book. Um, you know, somebody's offering you a new opportunity. Or or like I said, you know, maybe this is some sort of gift or even money. Um, but I just feel like it's so important for you to, you know, to take it and to move forward with something. And also, you know, the air element, you know, it deals with, you know the rational mind as well, um, I just feel like you're being smart about things this week, you know, you're making some good decisions, and, and once again, you know, communication is important this week for you as well, alright, well have a wonderful week, air signs, hi fire signs, you got the six of pinnacles, and this high priestess of water card, all right, and before I pulled your cards, karaoke, karaoke came to mind, and so, you know, I just feel like this week you're wanting to have some fun, you know, it's like you're letting your guard down a bit, you know, you're not afraid to, you know, just be silly and just to have a fun, you know, time. It just seems like there's like a light-hearted energy this week for you. All right, and, you know... With the Six of Pentacles card, you know, this card represents the moon and Taurus here, alright? Um, I just feel like it's there's this, like, nurturing energy, um, you know, it's and it's like you're showing people c you care by, like, the actions that you take, you know? It's like... You know, maybe you are actually giving, you know, a gift to somebody, or somebody's giving a gift to you. Um, you know, this is like, you know, Grandma with the cookies. You know, she's being very nurturing and giving you, you know, something, you know, tangible. Um, it's like, you know, the comforts of home. Um, you know, enjoying that nice cup of hot chocolate here. Um, 
It's a very nurturing energy. And with the High Priestess of Water, you know, I just, I do feel like there's a sense of you wanting to pamper yourself. Like, there is a sense of renewal here. It's like you're taking some, you know, time out. You know, maybe this is like having some time out to just have fun, you know. Um, but I just feel like there is a sense of, you know, by taking a break and, you know, pampering yourself, there is a sense of, like, renewal. Like, you know, it's like you're getting the second wind that you have been needing, um... You know, and I just love being around water. I always feel very cleansed and, you know, very fresh after, you know, spending some time around water. You know, I love the beach. I love spending time, you know, near the river. So, you know, I feel like it would be good for you to do that, you know, this week. Or, you know, maybe just drink more water. But it just seems like the water element is very important for you guys this week. Um... And with the Six of Pentacles, you know, this can, you know, this card also can represent, you know, a sense of cooperation, you know, people, you know, working together. Um, you know, it's like I scratch your back, you scratch my back, you know. It's like this, I feel like there's this, like, equal give and take. You know, you're doing something for somebody and you're getting something back for it as well. It's like this, there's this equal exchange of energy here for you. Um, and with the High Priestess of Water, I also feel like, you know, it's a very, this is a very creative time for you, and I feel like also a very intuitive time as well. I feel like your intuition is spot on this week, so, you know, really follow your intuition as well. All right, we'll have a wonderful week, Fire Signs.